have some news courtesy of Bloomberg regarding Kanye West and I for one am happy with the headline I haven't re have read the whole article which I'm going to read as we go on with this story but the headline alone makes me smile especially considering the stuff that I've been speaking about when it comes to Kanye West and some of his rants that he's been going on against Gap and Adidas so the headline says as follows Kanye West is done with corporate America he'll go at it alone the sub headline says the rapper and designer is sticking to his current contracts but says that's it no more corporations so no more companies standing between me and the audience which I'm super happy about because I've said it for the longest time for the longest longest time especially more so recently Kanye's recent rants against Adidas and Gap although they were all warranted for what we can tell from what he was talking about in Gap again because you cannot you can't take everything Kanye says as gospel he's never always telling the truth it's always his version of the truth that's going to best suit his needs and as a Kanye stan as somebody that's been obsessed with the guy as somebody that used to rush home to listen to his quote-unquote rants that used to go on um, during his stage shows somebody that bought loads of his merch or, you know attended his shows listened to his albums I can generally do say over the years my kind of impression of Kanye has slightly changed as a person but what I can't do understand about the dude when it comes to him talking vocally about these big obstacles that he's faced or these challenges he's in terms of his business and getting his ideas out there usually there are elements of the story that aren't exactly always true but help to kind of further his point and help him to get to a point we need to get to and ultimately it's a point that's going to help everybody so even if he is lying it doesn't necessarily matter because in the end his kind of um willingness to kind of be so vulnerable and talk about these sort of things in public will end up helping kids coming up when they end up doing um business with big corporations if they want to start doing design all that sort of good stuff but um, from what we can understand of his issues with Gap, he didn't really have as much control over um, what they did and how they launched it in terms of, you know, putting on the fashion show, in terms of putting out ads, in terms of filming commercials, in terms of putting out more product, in terms of what a product would be dropped, pre-orders, all this sort of stuff he was in control over. And then when it came to Yeezy and Adidas, I think he said that he, Adidas tried to buy him out of the contract for a fee that he didn't think made sense because I think he said the fee was somewhere around 1 billion they said he was going to be making on royalties alone 500 million so obviously they were trying to undercut him and get him out of that deal because you know usually from what I've seen shoe companies don't like paying people royalties you saw it already with um, Stefan Janowski right the guy that's got the SBs if I'm not mistaken a few years back um, Nike bought him out of the contract like for a massive fee I forgot how much it was but before that he was getting royalties on every shoe sold and if you know anything about skateboarding or you know anything about SBs or you know anything about sneakers in general you know those Stefan Janowski's for a few years were one of the most popular and most well-worn shoes that you'd see everywhere especially within the sort of youth market whatever they were really really intrinsically tied to the skater intrinsically kind of popular with from nike so you can imagine how much they were having to pay him a royalty so clearly they didn't want to continue doing that so they just kind of offered him a kind of um life-changing amount of money that he willing to willingly took up front because you know it's better to take the lump sum up front than maybe to wait for the royalties but who knows um so clearly both situations for Kanye have been tricky to deal with but my main point when I was speaking about it prior was I feel as if like Kanye even though he's got all these years of experience working in the industry he's had many ups and downs many deals many whatever for some reason he still hasn't got it through his head that corporations are always going to cooperate they're always going to do what they do best and that is fuck over creatives and I've been really adamant especially myself and in my journey and the things I want to do that if ever I had the opportunity to work with a corporation one of the main things that I would do stipulate is the term of the contracts in terms of length and in terms of deliverables but it'll be a very short contract it'll be a very you know anywhere between a year to five years and with some key deliverables we'd shake hands on the end of the day and then walk away you know so we'd shake hands on it and then at the end you know we'd make sure we kind of we're both happy with what we got and then go our separate ways but there'd be no kind of um there'd be no kind of naivety on my side in terms of thinking I can come in and reshape this company and pull it kicking and screaming into the 21st, 22nd, 21st century. No, it's not happening. Corporations are always going to cooperate because for the most part, corporations are run by soulless, vapid, you know, lacking in creativity people. Hence why they got you in for the first in the first place. But they also don't really think creativity is that important because for the most part, they've been able, especially a company like Gap and Adidas so for, for the most part, they've been able to kind of get by on just selling kind of basics you know what i mean on kind of getting by just through just pure legacy alone so for someone to come in like kanye and want to kind of tear up the the, 
the kind of playbook to fundamentally change how they do retail, to change how they do pr pr uh, um, marketing, to change how they do manufacturing, all that kind of stuff, um, just to kind of showcase the words that he's doing, it wouldn't make sense to them. So I was under the impression that for whatever reason, Kanye doesn't seem to understand that and he's still kind of trying to fight against it. But I also thought to myself, it's maybe a good thing that he's so adamant on trying to change how corporate America works because maybe he might be foolish enough to actually make it happen. And then, like I said before, other generations of people will end up kind of um, kind of enjoying the fruits of his kind of struggle. But it looks like finally he's decided to kind of do the sensible thing and not waste his energy trying to change corporate America and instead learn his lessons that he can take from it and apply it and just try and go about it himself, especially nowadays, especially considering the amount of leverage he has, the amount of money he has, the amount of access he has, the amount of flipping... Um, you know, uh, credit in the bank he has from the work he's done prior. This is the perfect time to take advantage of it and try to see if he can do it on his own kindness. You can't do everything on your own. This isn't some sway thing where sway is doing everything. And you can't do everything. And you need partners. You need people you can work with who can do things that you can't do at the highest level to get the stuff out to the most people you can get it out to, which has kind of been Connie's modus operandi, right? He wants to get high quality garments out, you know, designed by some of the best minds in the world to the most people possible. So everybody's basically dripping cool great admirable um but now take advantage of those resources and access that you have and get those things done instead of trying to trying to pull these corporations in to the 21st century when they clearly don't want to be there because they can get away with just being mediocre and doing a pretty decent job at it they can make sure they put their kid through private school they get their you know their yearly vacation all that good stuff so it's they've got no incentive really to change those things going forward but anyway let's read this article and see what they're saying it says as follows um rapper and designer Kanye West has now goes by Ye says he's done with corporate America his quote says as follows it's time for me to go alone Ye said in the phone interview it's fine I made the company's money the companies may be money we create ideas that will change our apparel forever like the round jacket the thumb runner the slides they've changed the shoe industry now it's time for Ye to make the new industry no more companies standing between me and the audience I love to hear that I love to hear that and that's true though he has made some absolute wins in his short career um um, within the kind of clothing manufacturing kind of industry right all those kind of wins he's listed have been pretty monumental it continues even with billions of dollars in revenue and two of the most fashions industries most lucrative uh, royalty deals at stake Ye has now shown um, full willingness to publicly battle the very same corporations he's worked most closely with but there are some obstacles to too clean to but there are obstacles to a clean break um, foremost are his high profile long term arrangement with Adidas to produce sneakers like Easy Boots 350, which expires in 2026. That's not really that too long, only four years. It's all right, isn't it? <clears throat> Um, and the apparel agreement that will gap which ends at 2020 2030 sorry 2030 sorry and they all just have to get along he says as follows which is my best quote I love in this entire interview they are my new baby mothers um, says yay I guess we're just gonna have to co-parent these 350s absolutely incredible quote a representative for Adidas and Gap declined to comment Ye intends to open his own Dondo campuses named after his famous his late mother sorry across the country which will house shopping schools farms and dorms all together products all there will be unique to the Yeezy's physical and online shops um, and designed by existing Yeezy staff he said he's working with former Adidas executive Eric Ledecht who now runs an independent plant-based clothing operations unless collective um, in recent weeks he has also been urging potential job candidates with expertise in operating retail networks to reach out to him he also has been operating Yeezy Supply, the e-commerce shop that serves as a primary retail point for all Yeezy goods, hitting the market in the endless stream of series of drops. Adidas and Gap have bet big on Yeezy, counting on Ye's label to boost the cachet among the young demographic. Adidas top executive Casper Rodster plans to step down next year, and Gap boss Sonia Sini is ousted in July. Gap is into match. Anyway, so he says, follow Ye has repeatedly called out Adidas and Gap and has requested to be added to their board without success. If I argue with somebody broker than me, the only outcome is that I get broker. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah, so that's that's basically the, the the entire function of it. So clearly, I think somebody smarter um, and you know well 
educated and maybe with more money than I has finally got to Kanye and said, hey, you're fighting a losing battle. You're never going to win these, against these corporations. They have their own vested interests they're sort of looking after and you don't really serve that in any way, shape or form. Much brighter and more influential people than you have tried and failed. You're not going to make any headway. And also just in general, forget if you'd make any headway, just in terms of creativity and energy and, you know, auras and chi and all that mal malarkey you can't be wasting all of that especially being as creative as he is on trying to fight these corporate battles uh, maybe leave it in the hands of a lawyer or something but Kanye should be out there kind of making and sort of developing and making and putting into action and putting into reality his ideas he shouldn't be ag arguing with corporations because that's not going to go anywhere and plus he just doesn't have the tact and the kind of um, way to talk to them really well he seems to approach everything like a roasting session and I would imagine executives middle manager executives and stuff or boardroom level executives don't you know take too kindly to be mocked and being insulted online so it makes sense why this probably isn't a tactic that's obviously worked for him in the long term but hey at least it gets their attention at least it gets their attention